for the love of cars. <laughs> Today we are going to talk about a manual car. Majority of the people today have no idea what a manual car is. They have never, uh, never driven one uh, because probably none, no person in their family has a manual car, right? So what's the very big difference between a manual and uh, an automatic? A manual car is manufactured with a manual gearbox. That's the biggest difference. Well, that's probably the only difference, right? Well, in uh, certain manual cars, uh, the handbrake is in a different position. So many cars right now, they say the Toyota Sienta, uh, the Toyota Raoum, uh, the Toyota, many, many, many Toyotas are uh, manufactured with uh, foot brakes instead of handbrakes, right? So most of the manual cars, you'll find that it has an hand, a handbrake because where the foot brake would be, there is a clutch pedal. We are going to see that. Well, basically, a manual car has a manual gearbox, so there is a manual gear lever. You have to control where which gear goes where. I'm going to show you shortly what it is. So basically, that's it. So how many people of you, do you even know how to drive a manual car? So I hope that what we go through today will help you to learn. Probably when you find it, you, you'll not be so blind. You, you will know how to start. The gear lever is here, as you can see, it doesn't move left, uh, <laughs> forward and backwards like the automatic. It goes left, right, forward, backward, and as you can see, it has writings on it. Now, this is gear number one, gear number two, number three, number four, number five, and then the reverse gear. And then this has a, a handbrake. Yes, I know some automatics have handbrakes, but majority of the cars that are manufactured today have a foot brake because they basically have their gear lever around here so they don't have it here so this space is normally left for storage or, or, or stuff like that so it has three pedals right this is the accelerator and this is the clutch pedal the one you press as you're going to uh, uh, you're going to engage the gears and then this is the brake pedal so we know this and this in automatics they are always there and then normally here there is the foot brake right so normally uh, uh, the, the dynamics work like this is uh, for example you start the car you start the car you have to make sure that it's in free right it's in free and you press the brake pedal like normally yes I know you do that in automatics right and then you start the car right but you want to move okay and what you do is you press down on the clutch pedal you still have to have your foot on the brake, right? <laughs> I know, you've had that. So, you engage gear number one. And then, you release the handbrake, you release the brake, and then the car starts to move. Yeah. So, that's basically it for the manual car. I mean, almost everything in the car is the same. If it's the same model, same make, everything else is the same. The engine is the same, the radio will be the same, the comfort will be the same. I mean, the only difference would be that the gearbox is manual or automatic. And yes, you've heard that the manual car is uh, very efficient on fuel. Yes, that's true. That cannot be disputed. The difference is huge. Because the fact that uh, when you're driving a manual car, you decide which gear to engage when. You'll find yourself driving in a low gear uh, at places where someone will have a high gear. So, I mean, there's those those variations. Of, co of course, the manual car is very efficient on fuel. But don't think it's easier. You need to go and learn how to drive a manual car from someone who has actually driven it. But then, someone will argue that you don't need to ride to learn how, how to drive a, man a manual car because even 10 wheelers have been made in automatics. Every car almost now has uh, an automatic. But don't worry, you you have to go and learn it. Just just have it as a skill, just the way you learn how to swim. So that uh, in case of uh, a situation where it's only a manual car that is available, you're actually in position to drive it. 